From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Brooke Pryor. Brooke, uh, it's early Sunday morning, less than 12 hours after Oklahoma's spring game. A couple of arrests, uh, early morning, 3.30, 5.30, mm -hmm. two different guys arrested, but most notably was quarterback Chris Robison, who played some in the spring game, an early enrollee. What do we know about his situation and, and what might be ahead as it relates to punishment? Well, right now we know that it was a public intoxication arrest for both him and defensive back Ronnie LaRue, who was a walk-on to the team. Uh, he wasn't eligible last year to play as a transfer from Northern Colorado. He is eligible this year, although I've got to think that with two, uh, with, a, with an arrest for public intoxication, I don't see him getting on the field anytime soon. Uh, and I don't really see, I, you know, Robison also, I don't know what this punishment is going to be. It helps uh, their case that spring football practice is almost over. Um, OU said yesterday that they are aware of the matter and they are dealing with it internally. Um, but it's not a good look happening, you know, just really a month and a half after Baker Mayfield's arrest in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and a couple months after Parrish Cobb was arrested for in an armed robbery case in Waco, Texas. Yeah, and Robison, we're not expecting that he would play this next year as uh, the Sooners have two other quarterbacks ahead of him uh, backing up uh, Baker Mayfield, but this almost assuredly will probably put him in a redshirt year because it seems like some you know, some issues of maturity would be out there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've talked about before how OU, it seemed like they just had a huge uh, depth at quarterback, and they still do. You know, this I don't think this is that this offense is going to be something that, you know, takes Chris Robinson off the team, but I do think that it makes Bob Stoops and Lincoln Riley's choice a lot easier at who to stay eligible or who to keep eligible in this next year. You know, let Robinson sit out a year, make him redshirt. He'll obviously still, you know, participate with the team and all of that stuff. Um, but he won't have to worry about, or the coaches won't have to worry about, you know, burning a year of his eligibility. You're right, it makes an easy decision. Redshirt him a year, let him mature, let him learn the system, let him learn from his mistakes, and then try again in his redshirt freshman season. Brooke, lastly, you mentioned just a second ago those previous two arrests here recently involving Sooners, Parrish Cobb, and uh, Baker Mayfield. We know Mayfield, his attorney, appeared in court the day before the spring game. Pled not guilty. We'll see where that court case goes uh, in the coming weeks and, and months. But Parrish Cobb, any updates on his situation at this point? No, there, we haven't heard anything about Parrish Cobb, which I think means that Parrish is essentially done at OU. Um, from what we've kind of gathered, he hasn't been at any practices. He is no longer on the roster. I believe that his suspension was not only from the team, but from the university as a whole. Um, I haven't heard of any uh, proceedings in that court case, but I've got to think that we're not going to see Parrish Cobb on campus or on the football team ever again. All right. Well, we'll keep abreast of all those situations as they proceed. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.